In this video, I'll show you how to connect a mouse and a keyboard with your iPhone 15. Could be the 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, Pro Max. So how should you do it? Well, first you need to get some keyboards and mouses. Here we have a Logitech one and a Logitech mouse, but you can use Apple devices, obviously, and any other, and many other brands as well. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get what you see over here. So the first thing you need to do is to obviously put in pairing mode those devices. So the keyboard over here, uh, again, it depends on the brand, but to put it in, key, in pairing mode, I just need to press one of these buttons over here. And when it's in pairing mode, you need to go on your iPhone, go into the settings menu. And then once you're over here, go over Bluetooth here, tap on it. And you should see the device appearing in this list down below. If you don't see it, it just means that the pairing mode of your keyboard or mouse disappeared. And just put back the device on pairing mode, okay? And you should see the device appearing here in the list. Here we go, K380, this is our keyboard. Tap on it and it will give you a number uh, to pair. So what you need to do is to type the exact thing, the exact number you see here on the keyboard. So here we have nine, six, one, eight, one, eight. And when you're done, tap the enter key on the keyboard. And this will connect it to your iPhone. Here we go, it says connected. Great, let's open a new note. And here we go, everything works properly. Very nice. You can check if every key works. This keyboard here is made for Apple, but honestly, it doesn't change anything. Uh, you can use a keyboard made for a PC and it should work with your iPhone as well. Obviously, not all of these shortcuts work, but fortunately this Logitech, what I like about it is that they actually, these buttons on the top actually works. So here we have, you see the brightness levels and just like on a Mac, when I'm pressing on them, it actually, it makes the iPhone react. And you can try the other buttons. Obviously, not all of them will work. But the most important ones, which is brightness and volume, actually do work. And now how to pair your mouse? Well, depending. If your mouse has Bluetooth and this Logitech has Bluetooth and a dongle, well, you can pair it Bluetooth the same way I showed you with the keyboard. But many mouses have a small USB dongle, like this one over here. And what you need to do in case you have one of these is obviously you'll need an adapter because this is USB-C, this is mostly USB-A. And one of the adapter I recommend is the Apple one because it's made for Apple devices and it's very reliable. So you're gonna tap, you're gonna plug it over here in the USB-A port. And again, I have a link in the description if you want to get one of these. And this has a USB Type-C on the other hand. Plug it inside of the iPhone. But before being able to use your mouse, although it's turned on and connected, what you need to do is to go into the settings, then go down until you see accessibility, tap on it, then touch, and make sure that assistive touch is turned on, like this. Only when assistive touch is on, you're gonna see your cursor over there, and you'll be able to use your mouse the same way as you're using a mouse on your computer. The only problem with a mouse is that not all gestures are working. Let's say you want to go home. Usually you just swipe this way, right? Well, if you have to do this with your mouse, let me try to do it. You see, it's just gonna scroll the, the page. And after a while, it will work. It's quite hard. It's not as easy as your finger. So what I suggest you to do, what you need to do is to have this assistive touch button and you should appear as soon as you touch assistive touch over here and you're going to place it where the home button is usually and with your mouse cursor you're going to go on it and tap it okay and it should bring you home if not make sure that under custom action over here it says home under single tap this way you can use it as a home button anytime anywhere so this is how you use your keyboard and your mouse with your iPhone 15. This way you can even use it on the web to browse pages, to type a document, and uh, yeah, it could be very useful. Thanks for watching, I hope this was useful. If so, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.